Hello again and welcome back. Okay, in this lesson we're going to talk about a way to even out uh, an over-polarized sky. That is something I am often a guilty of doing. And we'll show you here a way where you can help to even that out. It's, it won't make it necessarily perfect, but it'll make it far more tolerable. This particular example of uh, autumn colors down in the San Juan Mountains of Colorado does not really show a horribly uh, un over polarized sky. I've been working on that in the field, but there is some unevenness in the blue. It's a little lighter going off this way and a little lighter going off this way, which shows us a slight problem. Normally in an image, I don't mind if it's dark on one side and runs off to a lighter side. That's actually relatively natural if you observe the sky. But where we have a little darker running lighter and lighter, that looks unnatural. So we'll show you how to deal with that in this lesson. The first step is to use Select, run down to Color Range, have your eyedropper tool selected, click once, and what we're going to do is select the blue color of the sky. We've only got a portion of it selected, so we'll go ahead and click the plus eyedropper add more in and we're watching over here to see that we're adding it in. We're just kind of clicking and we're doing three by three, that's great. Clicking, adding it in until it looks like most of the sky is selected. Maybe off over here we haven't quite done it yet. And we'll do this. We'll change the fuzziness to 45. Looks like everything but the clouds in the sky is selected. So we'll select OK. We'll get our marching ants here in just a minute. We happen to have selected a lot of things beside the sky. Well, we'll go ahead and use this quick selection tool. We'll put it in the minus mode to remove from the selection. We'll just paint across the areas we'd like to remove. takes a minute for it to process. There is an advantage to a powerful computer with 64-bit processing, which this one is not. All right, that should remove the items we don't want. What we're going to want to do now is zoom in the scroll wheel up here take a look. Actually, let's pull up the uh, zoom tool, go to actual pixels, and I'll we'll go a little tighter maybe. And let's consider just changing our, our uh, edge just a little bit where we want to refine it. When you, when you come into here, though, you'll notice you can click the default button. It'll give you some default settings, which I don't like. For refining the edge in this way, I like to click over here on the far left. And then I can see what's going on. I might actually put my radius at a little smaller. I do not want to smooth this at all. I do want to feather a little bit more, perhaps five pixels of feathering. I do want to make sure that I'm not having a white line showing here, so I'm going to go ahead and expand this just a bit. It'll come down into the mountain, get off that edge. I'll make, make that 12 here. And then go ahead and click OK. I'm going to go ahead and fit this back on screen. And there we go, we've made a selection. What can we now do with that? We've basically selected the blue in the sky, and this is something really cool. If we hold the control button down, and while we're holding it down, also press the J key, we basically copy the selection into a new layer. And notice we have a new layer that popped up right here. Let's right click on this to make these a little bigger. New layer with just the sky selected, pretty cool. Okay, so we have this layer selected. 
I'm going to go a little slow here so you can track what we're doing. The next thing we want to do to this layer is to desaturate it, turn it to a black and white grayscale. We'll do that by coming up here to Image, click on it, down to Adjustments, run over and down to Desaturate. We've desaturated this layer. Now we want to invert the selection. So if we hold the Control key down, and press the I key. We've inverted it. Now the next thing we'll do to this is change the blend mode. And we can choose overlay or soft light. For this I usually prefer soft light. I think it looks a little more natural looking. And at this point in time we could change our opacity if we wanted to. Let's toggle this layer on and off now. Yeah, that does help even out the sky just a little bit. But I don't mind maybe taking the opacity down just to help it look more natural. Yeah, there we go. So that is a, there is a way that procedure will allow you to help even out polarization issues in the sky. If you've overpolarized and one area is way too dark, this will help to lighten the dark area and darken the light area. Okay, hope you enjoyed that. We'll see you next time.